Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Warami First Nations people. It's W-O-R-I-M-I -I, and welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. I do apologize yesterday. Oh my goodness, I should have taken an extra day off and allowed myself to actually come home. Uh, yes, uh, Trump did attend Barron's graduation, but literally it might, might as well have been a flyby up in the bleachers. Uh, they weren't invited with uh, Melania in her oversized straw hat trying to hide from, from the press, and uh, they weren't invited to the after party either. Uh, okay, yes, and I, I haven't seen, but I have heard all about the rally that he held. Uh, oh, gosh, he's passed the word, word salad stage. He's on to the sloppy word soup. Uh, apparently entire sentences that just came out as gobble, 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 and then extendedly long pauses as well as though almost like he had frozen up. Um, okay, so yes, I got that bit wrong. Uh, it's nice to know us readers are human on occasion. We do actually read on the energies of the moment. Uh, so sometimes we do get it wrong uh, in uh, in future events due to free will, etc. And yes, I know I was being incredibly lazy and I actually skipped a step in my Iran uh, explanation. The US uh, put in place uh, the uh, Shah in, I believe it was 1953, uh, in an attempt to uh, modernise and westernise Iran, uh, which was going well for a while, well for women for a while, uh, but he then turned in, the Shah that they backed turned into a corrupt autocrat who would broke no opposition um, and uh, was eventually overthrown 26 years after being put into place uh, and, the reinstall and the reinstallation of the Ayatollah. So who knows what uh, history would have played uh, if the Shah hadn't been put in. Um, it's just it's the course that they're on at the moment in Iran. So, but things were looking positive. I think both readings were actually quite positive. And uh, with what's going on in Iran at the moment, there is an opportunity. Opportunity is being presented there to bring about change. So we'll see how that plays. Okay, what I'm going to have a look at first, uh, one of my lovely viewers did ask if uh, your love Gallant was safe. He is the, I'm sure I've pronounced that incorrectly, but... Uh, bear with me, he's the Defence Minister in Israel who has spoken out against uh, the demands of Be uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. I did read, oh gosh, um, basically almost when this uh, invasion and uh, uh, genocide started that there would be a very senior uh, military person who would stand up against and say no more. Mm, I wonder if that's uh, Gallant or whether it might be a couple of generals underneath him. But, yeah, basically has stood up and, and saying no more. Uh, interestingly enough, I, I did two readings on Benny Gantz, who has also stood up with Gallant and said, you know, this needs to end. Um, but the readings I had on uh, Gantz, were, neither reading was particularly good for him. So, again, we'll see how that plays. But I was asked whether uh, Gallant himself was safe, uh, considering he's speaking out against Netanyahu. I have seen that there will be um, an assassination attempt. I'm not sure whether it's successful or not on somebody close to Netanyahu. I don't feel it will be Netanyahu himself. So entertainment only. I am a little bit late getting on today. I had to take my uh, drop my daughter uh, at uni and take the car into the mechanics purely to have a headlight bulb replaced. I know theoretically one can do it oneself, but to be honest, for the uh, couple of dollars that my mechanic charges, I would much rather uh, have him do it. And, uh, yeah, there were a few chores I had to run anyhow. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. I think it's going to take me about five days to catch up with, with everything that needed doing from having a couple of days off. But let's have a look. Is is your gallant safe? Let's have a look. Is he safe? Spoken out about Netanyahu. Now, I do know that he is one of those that the ICC, the International Crimes Commission Committee Court, who might be International Crime Criminal Court, uh, is trying to get a warrant against him because he was Defence Minister. He is Defence Minister in regards to what's going on. 
Um, so, you know, change of heart doesn't really compensate for what happened has happened under his watch previously. But I just want to see whether he's going to be safe. So come on down. Sorry about that. Five minutes of waffling. Uh, the Ace of Cups. Oh, my poor little cards. Um, so what we've got here is a new uh, partnership beginning, a new emotional beginning. It can be an emotional cleansing as well. Uh, so it is about uh, the beginning of a new cycle. We've got the two-week cycle up here with the moon cards. Uh, the Well, the goldfish often mean uh, wealth or money and the all-seeing eye. So there's a lot here on this particular card. I'm using the Gilded Tarot Royale. I'm always drawn to the imagery of the card. So this is the signifier, the all-seeing eye, period of two weeks, money and an emotional cleansing and new start. Mm, okay, as a signifier, let's see what comes out of it. Yep, because challenging this is the hidden agenda. The hidden agenda, secrets behind the scenes that are not yet known. Uh, so, Benny, uh, so Yolof Galant, he may, well, we'll see how it plays out, but we've got the hidden agenda here is challenging this new beginning um, or is being challenged by this new beginning, the hidden agenda. Now, I have said right from the start, uh, well, first of all, Netanyahu was a supporter of Hamas, financial as well as political. He has been saying for years that he, uh, in sort of obscure language, that he would be very happy if uh, Palestinians all went, uh, making deals with Kushner in regards to building condos, remembering that there's oil and gas reserves off Gaza itself that are current. The, the, the sea off Gaza is currently uh, under well under Palestinian. Uh, international rule. There's also there's all sorts in the canal, the trading canal, as a uh, competition to the Suez Canal uh, going through the Gazan area. So we've got hidden agenda here, maybe revealed. I think it's going to be revealed. Sword of truth and peace. Uh, there may be a ceasefire coming soon uh, within two weeks. Oh, Please, 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 I hope so. The sword of truth is drawn from its sheath. It is the sword of uh, brutal clarity, wisdom, knowledge, seeking of truth, honesty. Um, so here we've got the with a new start here as well. So I do wonder whether within two weeks the hidden agenda may be revealed. And we have this um, new beginning in, in truth-telling. Mm. And with the doves there, please, please, please let it be a ceasefire as well. You'll notice that Netanyahu, very similar to the GOP in the US at the moment, uh, has been saying that he wanted specific things included in a ceasefire. When they're included, he then says he doesn't want them. Um, so... In short, I don't feel that he wants a ceasefire at all. Now, I'm not talking about the Israeli people at all. I'm not talking about the Palestinian people when I'm talking about Netanyahu and Hamas. I'm talking about those that are in these authoritarian positions. So we've got two aces and a, uh, and a um, major arcana. In the past, lies, deceit. Trail, stealing, heartbreak, uh, another sword here, stealing of the truth, stealing of reality. Oh, goodness, but it's in the past. So I was talking about Gallant. Is Gallant safe? So in the past, he was included in what went on. He was the defence minister. He was the one that worked with uh, Netanyahu and those uh, in those leadership positions to to start this uh, genocidal invasion. Okay, let's see where this goes. Crowning this reading, another uh, major arcana. Crowning this reading, the energy is hanging over the here and now. So this is the here and now side. 
is the, the lover's card. Fading partnerships and agreements coming undone. Um, you'll notice that the authoritarian masculine energy here is fading as we have the rising of the feminine. Very similar um, uh, pos uh, poi uh, position as the uh, hidden agenda high priestess coming forward as well. And we've got the two pillars of wisdom with the light peeking out from behind the moon. We've got the moon here. We've got the sun peeking out from behind the moon. So I do think that there was some contracts and agreements that are literally dissolving as uh, the truth is coming forth. And it is the fading of this masculine energy. Now, when I'm talking about masculine energy, it's the likes of uh, the bully boy, um, bully boys, and it can be females as well, but it's mainly men. And I'm talking the likes of Putin, Trump, Netanyahu, Orban. Oh, who's the Belarus dude? Can't remember his name. But these, um, my way or the highway, uh, you will do what I tell you type um, energy. Okay, the immediate future, a lot of headlines coming out very quickly. Things moving forward in a positive way very quickly. Okay, so let's see where this goes. Another major arcana, justice. So externally, justice being bought. Okay. Let's keep going. Internally, Gallant is not going to like what is on offer. It may be an offer is made to him to turn tail on Netanyahu or to uh, share inf more information than what he has done so far because, I mean, he's in a circle. He knows what was going on behind the scenes. So we've got the International uh, Criminal Court here, perhaps making him an offer that is not palatable for him, but he may not be able to refuse. I've got, I'm drawn to the book that this figure, this figure is holding here. Uh, Gallant's not a youthful figure, I know that, but the book that he's holding, Documentation. He, he hasn't taken it yet, what is on offer, but let's see where this goes. Hopes and fears, the uh, oligarchical, well, mm, the powerful, the powerful um, heads of state masculine energy, hopes and fears. I'm going to name this card. It can be my trump card. However, not so much anymore because he's not this figure anymore. But I do wonder whether this is um, Netanyahu himself. I mean, the kings, they bring forward. So he can be bringing forward protection. He can be bringing forward security um, and, and healing uh, because pentacles are health as well. So that might be a hope, but it also a fear is um, bringing forward information about about the uh, powerful money that perhaps changed hands behind the scenes. So there's a hope and a fear here, and I wonder if uh, the, the criminal court is going to be talking to Gallant to try and find documentation to, um, to bring down these other figures. Okay, the outcome. Oh, balance, moderation, juggling from cup to cup. Uh, releasing the toxicity of this um, fading agreement. So Gallant has changed sides. I mean, he, oh, he hasn't ordered things to stop, but mm, let's see where this goes. Bringing forward information about money and homeland security. Okay. Uh, and having to defend himself against the information that comes out. On the foundation, we have on the base, which is overarching energies in the here and now, four of pentacles. 
money secrets trying to be kept hidden, but it's getting out there about this devil, Netanyahu himself. He's not yet decided, so he's still contemplating which path to go legally. But then I have the whistleblower bringing forward the sword of truth, so he's deciding whether to become the whistleblower and throw uh, certain people under the bus with the information he has. Okay, so I'm not getting bad cards for Gallant, as in I don't think he's going, going to be the one that is targeted. Uh, sorry, get my light right there. Do, 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 flipped up too high. Um, I think that the International Criminal Court will be making him an offer to uh, supply some documentation or information uh, to, about others that were involved, and we know who was involved. Uh, I do feel that he will. Turn whistleblower, traitor, spy in the camp, whatever you like to call it, depending on which side you're on as is to whistleblower or traitor. Um, yeah, I think it will. I think he will is what I'm getting there. Um, movement forward and star of hope and healing. So, yeah, there is movement forward for Israel. Palestine's going to need a massive, massive uh, the Palestinian territories are going to need massive rebuilding. But I do feel that, uh, yeah, Gallant, uh, yeah, I do feel he'll be, um, he's not going to be the target of what I'm seeing. Uh, he, yeah, no, I'm not feeling he's going to be the target of what I'm seeing. And I do feel that he's going to uh, turn witness, potentially. He's still considering it. Okay, love to you all. Take care.